Scott Kelly, Mikhail Kornienka and Sergei Volkov bid farewell to their colleagues and then close the hatch on their time aboard the International Space Station. Kelly and Kornienko's 340 days in orbit are seen as a vital stepping stone to a future Mars mission. One of the big unknowns about any kind of uh, interplanetary human exploration, that is sending humans to another planet like Mars, is uh, how well will the human body stand up to long-term exposure to microgravity, that is weightlessness. We know just from studies on board the space station that uh, astronauts undergo things like bone loss and muscle mass loss over time, uh, to the tune of something like one and a half percent of their bone mass uh, each month. After their journey back to Earth and its gravity, Kelly, Kornienko and Volkov safely landed in the snowy wilderness of Kazakhstan near Russia's Baikonur Cosmodrome. They were supposed to exit the capsule themselves like they'd have to after landing on Mars, but the debilitating effects of so long in space were clear and the men were too weak to do this. Scott's body will now be compared to his earthbound twin brother Mark to analyse any genetic changes. Though Kelly's now the US astronaut with the most consecutive days in space, any serious enthusiast will tell you the absolute record belongs to a Russian. We should say it's not the first such lengthy flight. In 1994-95, our compatriot Valery Polyakov set the absolute world record of 437 days. That's almost enough time to fly to Mars and back. He carried out many experiments and his work was very important. Of course, nothing actually replicates the experience of re-entry. It's one of those things you have to do yourself. But this simulator at the Moscow Museum of Cosmonautics certainly shows how cramped it is inside this tiny capsule, the only thing that's keeping the men alive. And it shows how the vacuum and extreme temperatures of space are just centimetres from their heads. Museums like this and media coverage of missions like the one that's just returned to Earth a testament to how much excitement human space flight still generates. And maybe, just maybe, among these children, there's a future visitor to Mars. Rory Challens, Al Jazeera, Moscow.